Hey, Scott from Ron Francis Wiring. I'd like to show you some of the different ECM reprogramming we do here at Ron Francis. So most of the programming we do is for OBD2 type ECMs, which are typically mid 90s and newer. Anything older than that, we can take care of anything necessary uh, to delete or bypass components uh, in our wiring kits rather than ECM reprogramming. So first we have a, a GM ECM here. This is uh, typical for late 90s, early 2000s LS engines. Uh, the way we can reprogram these is a hard reflash. We have software that will actually uh, take the factory program. We can manipulate it to eliminate any emissions, reduce fan internal temperatures, change gear ratio and tire sizes to make a nice easy installation for you. When it comes to the Ford ECMs, it's a little bit more complicated. First, we have an Eek 5 ECM that's used about mid 90s up through mid 2000s. Now, typically we chip these because it is the most affordable solution using one of these piggyback chips. Now, what we do with these is we reprogram this chip and install it on the ECM. And at that point, it overrides the factory ECM programming to handle the engine like we want it to. So that would again include removing any emissions, uh, changing gear ratio and tire sizes, removing the anti-theft. Again, everything necessary to get your engine running well in an aftermarket application. So this is uh, Eek 5, typically is for cable style throttle bodies. Third, Ford's newer ECM, which would be this one right here. Uh, this was typically used 2005 and up, and is for applications that had drive-by wire. Now, with these ECMs, they do not have a port to install one of those piggyback chips on. We have to go with the full reprogramming, but on the Fords, we can provide a programming device that will, again, reprogram the computer, but it also has some additional features such as uh, adjusting gear ratio and tire size yourself, maybe putting a slightly more aggressive spark advance in there, as well as reading any trouble codes. So um, we really do these kinds of reprogramming to help facilitate the sale of our wiring kits. We make it very clear to customers that we are not a dyno shop or a tuning shop. But we can do a little bit if it's necessary, if you've added a different mass airflow meter, but we really shy away from too much modification there. It's best advised to get a local tuner that can have the vehicle and do the retuning or programming right. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can check out our website at ronfrancis.com and submit a question through one of our uh, portals there, you can ask Ron or uh, contact us. Thanks for watching.